Okay, today's session is on planter fascia taping. I've done this before, but I've done it with rigid tape. We're gonna update you today using K-tape, elastic tape. And the reason we're doing this one is because the rigid tape is really good for if I wanna lock up this arch, lock up this foot to stop it moving. So someone who's got severely acute plantar fasciitis or they've done a tear in the plantar fascia. Maybe they've got a bony spur as well and it's super painful and they basically can't walk unless they either in a boot or they're taped up. That's what rigid tape's for. Today, this is more for mild plantar fasciitis or say you are coming out of that acute phase, you've still got it and they're returning to more walking, they're trying to strengthen up the plantar fascia but they still need the support. That's when you can use your K tape. So I'm gonna show you that with this. It's also quite nice because it gives that a real elastic spring. So some people might like it better than the rigid tape because one, they can move a little bit more, but it's still got the support. So I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. Two things you gotta do first is to like, you can call it a stirrup if you like. You're gonna use long bits of tape to go from the big toe to the heel, there's one one, and then the little toe to the heel. You can add on a third, I'm just going to show you two today. What you do to measure that is go from the big toe to the heel. That sounds silly, right? But that's what you measure, okay? So you look at that and go, okay, one, two, three, four, five for her foot, cut off five. Just double that because you're gonna have two. One, two, three, four, five, there you go. Now, with this one, as with all K-tape, is you round the edges. So just snip off that. That'll just stop it falling off and catching on socks and things like that. So round all that. Then what you're gonna do is apply the first one and the first one is going from the big toe. Remember, anchors are always zero. Cut off about an inch, so there's your anchor. That goes on the metatarsal head of your big toe, there it is there, okay? So zero degrees, really lock that down because you do not want that coming off. Then you're gonna grab this, pull it back to where you'd be for the last anchor, okay? Because that's gonna be zero. So that gives you something to pull on. Plus, if you look at that, see I'm not touching the tape. You touch that tape, it's gonna make it less sticky, so hold on to that bit. For the first thing what I want you to do though is see how she's in dorsiflexion, she's lifted her toes up she's got to relax that and let it go. Okay, what I want her to do is almost go into a bit of an arch. So I can then crank this up. Now, I'm gonna hit the floor with that, so what I wanna do is lift her up a little bit. I'm gonna crank this up quite a bit and wrap it to the heel like that, and then put it down again so I didn't touch the ground. On this side, I'm gonna come around the back and just then, see on that lateral board of the foot, just whoop, and do that, all right? And that just provides you with a very long anchor here. Good thing about that is if I have it back at the heel, it's more likely just to rip off the back of the heel. If it's long like that, remember that is zero tension, right? It just keeps it secure. I don't want to be hitting the back of the heel and that falling off. So then you push all this down like this, okay? So I'm providing the arch with a bit of elastic support, like a little sling but also gives a bit of muscle contraction there. If you've got tape pulling on that, you're gonna activate a bit of that muscle contraction to help her arch lift up, which supports the plantar fascia. And the big thing about plantar fasciitis is you do get a lot of muscle sort of almost denervation or deactivation because of the pain. So there's pain in the heel, the arch is more likely to collapse, but which then compounds the problem, makes the whole thing worse. We've got to try and bring that arch back a bit. So second one, is going from the fifth mat, all right, or fourth, fifth mat, whatever you, the outside of the lateral board of the foot, still underneath the foot, in there, stick that one down, okay, get a good anchor on there, maybe an inch of that, before you even pull it. So make sure you really, really push that down. The interesting thing about this is you're going to the same spot as you went last time. So grab that again, see that? Lift her up. Let it come into a bit of a curve. You may have to push her in a bit of a curve there. Pull it, crank it up. I'd go almost 75, 80, 100%. If it depends on what you need. Wrap it to there. Round the back. You can just overlay that same one like that. 
nice and relaxed. Look at that, perfect. I came underneath that one. How did I do that? So then push that one down. Make sure there's no wrinkles. Really give that a bit of a rub. That'll heat it up. Let's make it stick a little bit better. So that's your first spot. Now, second thing is coming underneath. Now I would go, it depends on, it does depend on how long the foot is. You're gonna do little stirrups like this. I would, you almost guess the first one. It's almost gonna be a little bit too long. You don't need these too long. One, two, three would be enough probably for her foot. I'll just trim that a little bit shorter. And I'll show you what I mean because you, these ones are gonna go 100%. So, I'm going to test the first one, because you can always take it off. You're going to go from the outside, lateral border of the foot, to the medial side. So, don't do it the other way. Outside lateral border of the foot, you're going to go from the, you're going to start from the end of the foot, the distal part of the foot, and you're going to go proximal with each one. This one needs to be, if you look at the foot, it needs to be before the met head. So, on the outside, Foot, that's just an anchor. It needs to be before that meat head. All right. When you come around underneath, because the meat heads are there, where you put the star tape, you don't want to be covering that. You want to be right on the end of those for the first one. What I do is I come underneath like that, and I push a little bit, and then I'm going to crank it up like that. So I'm lifting as hard as I can, and then I back off. And again, there's another anchor, but that was zero, right? So think zero percent tension. Can you see how tight that is in between? All right, it's 100% in between. There's one. You are going to do as many of those as you need to get right up to the origin point of that plantar fascia underneath the heel, and you might have to do a couple through the heel there. So if I then now go, okay, I'm going to cut off the same amount. One, two, one, two. We might have to do four of those. All right, we'll start with that. The good thing is you want to save some time, cut the four, put them all together, trim them all off at once. Easiest way of doing it. Put them all together. Doesn't matter if they're not exactly the same length, but pretty close to be good. Same drill. You're going to cover, each one is going to cover the second by half. Okay, so you get a little bit of a reinforcement of each one. So here, up it goes. Try not to have any wrinkles in the tape. Back it off. The, you're gonna, you'll find the people, the patient loves this, okay? When they stand on this, it's so supportive because you're really assisting the arch to help the plantar fascia and that support just drops their pain down, lets it heal up faster. This one here, up it goes. You can see I'm creating a real sort of hammock there. Remember, it doesn't matter that it comes up onto the shin like that because it's a zero anchor it doesn't it's not going to pull on anything here it's just a you know something to anchor down last one here and that covers see that's going to cover the insertion point and i'll just go just angle the foot a little bit like that oh look at that got some wrinkles in it try not to do that there we go okay now that sort of forms the basis of trying to support all that arch up to really assist in giving that support to the plantar fascia and then it'll drop the pain down, okay? With some people we try and do, we do a tibialis posterior taping. That's another video for another day. What I would do is you've got all these, see these top parts here? You've got all these parts that can potentially come off when you put your sock on. So what I would do, if you've got enough tape, I would cover that all up. Because to be honest, these people are gonna have this on for quite a long period of time. We're talking maybe three days. As long as they're not allergenic, uh, allergic to tape, you then put on a covering like this, just to cover the edges. Makes it look a little bit nicer too, but the main function of that is we are trying to not let it come off. You know, do all that good work, and then it all comes off again. So like that. So it just covers a bit of tape. You can trim this off if you went a bit long, like I did. There you go, okay, and voila. So that 
We'll secure it down, and there's your plantar fascia taping. So when she loads the pair, she's got so much more support in there. Try that. If you're having trouble or this one hurts a little bit or it feels it's too rigid, that sort of limits their walking, give the K-tape a go and see if that makes a massive change. See you next time.